Good morning, guys. Um, today, well, let me just say, I've been wanting to start this video series. Um, I've been wanting to share not only things from, basically I want to call it dough and dirt. Um, I started my own business doing uh, Guten Sprout, which is my, my sourdough business. Um, and it's kind of growing and turning into a great thing. Um, but then I also deal with my health, which is my fibromyalgia. Um, and I have a page that I, sh I share all of that on with Facebook. Um, and it's sort of a support group where some of us can get together and kind of talk about things, um, encourage each other, pray for each other, things like that. Um, and I just kind of openly share my experiences with dealing with, with chronic illness. Um, and if you know anybody who's dealing with chronic illness, then please do um, kind of point them in my direction. And, um, you know, it just helps knowing that there's other people who are going through the same thing that you are. I went to, through a point in my life where I felt completely alone. Like I only knew one other person, which was my mamma, my grandmother on my dad's my dad's mother um, who had fibromyalgia and I didn't even know it until I got my diagnosis and she's like honey that's I've had that my whole life so um, she was my always my go-to and when she passed away I was I was alone I didn't know anybody else who had fibromyalgia and this was before um, you know Facebook was so prevalent and, and social media and things like that so um, God kind of put it on my heart to share with others and so that's what I'm doing God's also put it on my heart to start with this little business and 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 learning about fermenting and cultured foods and um, I believe there's a lot of healing and medicine in our foods um, I believe that God has provided us with not only these wonderful bodies that we have but he's provided us with so many natural things to heal us um, and there was a time where I was so focused on that because at the time I wasn't working I, I I was trying to do everything on a very strict, strict budget, um, strict budget, like feeding four people on $50 a week. And that was tough. Um, so I have a lot of knowledge that way. Um, so things are different. Um, I started healing and feeling better. Um, I was on a bunch of medications. So I could tell you this whole long story and I'm, I'm not going to, you know, eat up this whole video doing that. Um, but basically, so I have my business. I also want to teach people, you know, more about fermented foods and cultured foods and um, how things are better for our bodies and the way things work. Um, I know that that doesn't sound, that sounds kind of hypocritical coming from a fluffy lady. <laughs> so, so basically it's not a diet like lose weight diet, which really if you eat right and do what you're supposed to, you can very much so lose weight naturally and that's where today comes into play um, so I've been waiting on making this video I had, I had already decided to um, start my kind of video series combining everything um, which I'm also creating through my business we're using our home property to create a little farm um, I've gotten into learning teas and medicinal herbs um, and so we're talking about opening a farm stand on our property and like I said I, I have my business where I sell breads um, and different things you know sourdough related um, so we're creating this little business, me and my daughters, sort of. Um, they do their own little things too, um, but they, they also help me. I'm very fortunate that way. Um, I am lately, this past year, I've been struggling really bad with fatigue. Um, with running this little business, I don't have as much time to focus on... Um, the reason why I'm sitting in my car is because it's a quiet spot. Um, but anyways, so I haven't had as much time to focus on the way I eat. Lately, we've been eating out. We've been, you know, we're on the road a lot delivering um, products. And that's great. But instead of packing my lunches and eating 
what I should, we stop at McDonald's and really the only thing, and I'll get into this more later on, I'm allergic to just about everything. Um, so the only thing I can eat at McDonald's is a coffee and chicken nuggets. <laughs> And I know those are horrible. And so that's what I've been doing. Um, and that's not good for my body. Um, and then, you know, we've been eating out more. We've been cooking things with, you know, I've been letting the girls cook. And so, you know, even though it's organic pasta, it's still pasta. Um, you know, and I have to eat organic pasta because the other pasta makes me completely sick. Um, but anyway, so there's a lot that's going on. But anyways, so this is today. I've had, I've reached, uh, I did a post this morning on my fibromyalgia page about, I woke up this morning, my eyes wide open. And it's been something I've been thinking about for the past couple months, but it really hit me hard and there's no perfect time. It's like, it's like if you're a Christian and you believe in God's salvation, you know, God doesn't want, a lot of people believe that God wants you to be perfect before you come to him like you shouldn't sin at all if you go to have God save you see what I'm saying you know life is not perfect a human is not perfect no one is perfect God doesn't want you to be perfect so it's been kind of like that like I've been waiting for the perfect moment to make a video I've been waiting for the perfect moment to you know have the right setting to have the the right words um, and this morning I woke up and it was truly a, a turning point. Um, so I wanted to document this moment um, today because I got on the scale before I woke up. Before I woke up, I knew today was the day. And I've talked about this day a lot, but today is the day. Um, I woke up and I realized that if I do not do something today, today if I don't do something today tomorrow might not come because I don't feel right I don't feel good I, I have no energy my back is killing me this is the worst even with fibromyalgia this is the worst I've felt in a while it's a different worst like when I was on all those medications which is a long story for another time but when I was on all those medications I was a zombie and it was literally it was horrible absolutely horrible but this is a different horrible this is a this is a different this is a if I don't lose weight and get healthier if I don't change the way I'm eating if I don't change the way I'm thinking if I don't change the way I'm talking acting if I don't change the way that I live my life it's gonna affect not only my husband and my children um, because honestly I get winded from one room to another that's not cool um, standing, it's a different, it's a different, this is a, I'm too fat, different. Um, there's a difference between fibromyalgia pain and, and I'm just unhealthy pain. And I think I'm combining the two of them and, and, and it's really, really bad. But, um, anyways, I woke up this morning and I got on the scale. That scale said 365. I have never in my life been that big. And that, to me, tells me that that's a huge, <laughs> huge way for me to be able to tell that this is not cool. This is this is what's going on in my life. Um, so, I've never been a diet person. Um, I did lose quite a bit of weight when I was so strict to sticking to my cultured foods and eating real. And, and that's what I do. I mean, I know that I eat healthier than your average person no doubt I definitely eat real and and so much more healthier than your average person but like I said we've been going through that drive through a little bit too often I've been eat, drinking way too much sweet coffees um, my husband's got different work hours so lately we eat at 8 or 9 sometimes even 10 o'clock at night for dinner and that is not cool so I've got to come up with a plan for that for all of that but as of right now I just wanted to share publicly that 365 for me is not cool um, there's 365 days in a year so how much weight can I lose between now and 365 days from now 
So that's my, you know, and I feel, I'm tired of feeling like life's unfair. You know, it is unfair. I can't eat half the foods that other people can eat. And it makes me angry sometimes because it's, you know, I enjoy food. Um, I love to cook. I love to, I just love food. <laughs> and, um, and our whole family's that way because we just, we enjoy cooking and we enjoy, you know, we enjoy making things from scratch and the real stuff and nothing comes out of a box in our house. And so, you know, and there are ways of healthier ways of making things. And lately we haven't been doing the healthier ways. We've been doing the, let's, let's put all the butter in it ways. Um, and there's nothing wrong with butter. Butter is a healthy fat. I'm not getting rid of butter. Um, but I need to slow down on it. And I need to not eat it at 10 o'clock at night. Um, so there's that. So one of the things that I've done today is on my hand right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of upside down. But I've written, I can't get it in there. I've written 365. You can't see it really well. But I can see it very well as I'm driving this car today. It's going to remind me to not stop at McDonald's for that coffee or anywhere else for a coffee. In fact, I may stop at a gas station and get me a bottle of kombucha if I'm thirsty. That's lower in sugar. That's also gut friendly. Um, it's good for my gut health. And and that's another thing. Like I make my own kombuchas and things like that lately. We haven't been making it. I've just been maintaining it. We haven't been making it. We don't have time. And so I need to make the time. Um, and so that's that's one of the things that I'm gonna I'm really gonna start doing. I'm gonna be sharing that a lot. So, anyways, I was also talking about dough and dirt. Um, so I just wanted to share the 365 and I'm going to be sharing some different things as I go with that, some recipes and, and um, kind of different things that I find and do. Um, also, dough and dirt. So this is going to be a video series. I don't know if I'm going to share this video today. I may, I may not. I'm not sure. I'm going to think about it, pray about it. Um, but it's going to be part of, you know, as it goes, um, it's going to be kind of part of um, just different things, but dough and dirt is a, it's going to be my, my YouTube channel and I'm going to share things about my fibromyalgia, about growing my, my garden, um, container gardening, um, gardening when you have a chronic illness, um, gardening for my business, which, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of planting trees and tea gardening, things like that. Um, so I want to share a lot of that. I also want to share a lot with, you know, about, um, just general wellness of gut health um, and I want to be able to share more about um, what I'm doing as far as recipes um, as far as like um, sourdough showing different things for sourdough and things like that so um, I just want to reach out to a huge audience I guess instead of just one specific um, because I'm splitting my time between all these different things and really I'm just going to combine it all and um, just let it be a big mess and then y'all can sort it out with <laughs> whatever interests you but here I go so 365 um, this is my turning point eyes wide open um, so maybe next time you see me my rolls won't be quite as 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 rolly down there so <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, and, and I'm not stressing about it. I'm not going to starve myself to death. Um, but I'm going to be, you know, back to acting the way I should more. Um, because I don't want to be in that wheelchair. Because I'm not. That there's been doctors have told me that I need to accept the fact that I was going to be in a wheelchair. In two years, you'll be in a wheelchair. That was probably eight years ago. And I'm not in a wheelchair, but lately I feel like that might be my, that might be in the horizon, and, and I, I refuse to do that. I mean, if there ever comes a point where there is that moment where I have to, but it's not going to be because I'm too fat. It's not going to, and I hate that word fat, but it's not going to be because I'm too heavy or because I'm too unhealthy, and it's not going to be because it's my fault. It's going to be because of fibromyalgia or chronic illness. It's not going to be anything that's going to be my fault. So, um, God gave me this temple and I'm going to have to shine it up and, and, um, 
clean out some of the storage rooms and and and, and make some room for life because I want to live life I'm gonna be 50 years old in September so that's half of a hundred I've still got another 50 years that's what I want so um, or more you know but you're gonna have to you have to live that life healthy so 365 see where I am in another 365 hopefully that won't be my weight but love you guys thank you for listening and I hope you follow along I'll talk to you later bye